So Tony Abbott, he should stay, yeah. should he? He should stay in office? Look, I, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just trying to say that this was wrong. It shouldn't have happened. It's unbelievably gross. Mm. Um, but look, um, a lot of people do a lot of damn stupid things. And they don't usually end up running parties in states uh, um, after they've done them. That's the problem. Uh, in the New South Wales Parliament, all sorts of tacky things have happened. I'm not going to name names, but we can go through the clips files and see all these terrible things. There have been some pretty dodgy things happen at late night parties in the federal parliament. Absolutely. And I just think that um, you, a, bit of, a bit of understanding, <laughs> bit of understanding is sure. sometimes called for. I'm not sure we can let you go without yeah. making some sort of... Tony, this is different. Yeah. It, it, this is different. It's just so... It is so mm. tacky and it is extraordinarily defiling for a woman. I, I, feel, I mean, okay, let's, let's hear from the other great. man on it's the panel, Stephen Crittenden. Place. Well, I mean, I, I, I want to back Tony up in this slight respect and that is... Would you agree that there has been, in, in, in recent years, there's been a, a, an increasing tendency for the private lives of politicians? And this was in public, I, I take your yeah. point, Prue. But, but, the, but the focus on stuff like this that, that leads, leads away from big issues and, uh, you know, I, I just, I think well, increasingly when there's... When two or four of you are gathered no. together, look at it, yeah. you know, yeah. the boys yeah. just... The boys... Yeah, yeah, well, right there on the end of... That's right, look at you. That's right, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got a brother with really? you, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm quite happy to be sitting I'm on the side of you. You're a feminist now, There's a few extra things, right? There is this, there is this issue that it's sexual harassment, that it's problematic behaviour. Um, it's how does that woman ever feel safe and comfortable in her workplace again? Mm -hmm. How do the women who work with her feel safe and comfortable in their <laughs> workplace? And, and frankly, how do the women of Western Australia feel confident that that the, the party that he leads, should they be elected, fair would point. genuinely represent their needs and interests when he is okay. so Tanya, obviously fair point. But what far... About, there's Tony, a minister in the New South Wales sentence, government please. who was published as having done similar activities. OK, let's, let's, we've got another gentleman with his hand up here in the audience. Let's hear what he's got to say. Um, I'm just um, concerned about the fact that why should we as the public... I mean, we, we, we elect people into positions of power, great power in some cases, and we expect a certain standard of behaviour. Um, why should we put up with, with something that is less than what we expect? Why should those people who do that... OK, take that as a comment and we've got one more up there and I think we'd better switch mm. subjects and move on to oh, weightier yeah. matters. Yes, um, I'm a little bit concerned that we're going into oh, prudery territory. It's like, OK, I, I agree, we, shouldn't ha we should not defile women you know, or men or anybody for that matter. But we're getting a little bit sort of... Uh, I mean, we all have sexual lives, all of us. Mm -hmm. Some of us are celibate, some of us are gay, some of us are lesbian, some of us are straight. That doesn't matter in positions of power at all. Why should we but care this about... this isn't sex. This is no. weird this is intimidation. intimidation. But that's a fetish. It's, no, it's, 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 not, it's <coughs> not a fetish. I mean, he, he, he's, he's, about sex. He's, acting, he's acting an idiot in front of his friends to show off he's in some in bizarre of way yeah. and make a big man of himself. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, I don't understand it. Would you okay, be right, but this is a, obviously we're getting a lot of interest in this subject. I'll keep it going for a while longer. We've got a, a lady down the front here uh, on this side who's desperate to make a comment. But it's more than it's more than that. That it, it's much worse than that. That he's, he's acted like an idiot and that he's defiled wom women and he's and so on. He's a representative um, of the people in Parliament, and so he, to an extent. And to a great extent, I might add, he, he's meant to be a model for us, you know? I mean, he's there, we've elected him, and he's meant to be representing us and also showing model, well, you know, sort of the, <coughs> more or less the sort of behaviour that we would aspire to. It's, uh, Tony Abbott, just very quickly, it is a question of standards, <laughs> isn't it? And look, it does seem he's gone yeah. beyond any acceptable I, standard, I, I, according I, to our audience. Look, I, I accept that it was absolutely wrong, utterly indefensible, quite po probably illegal... All these things. All I'm saying is, all, 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 all I'm saying is, everyone is human. Everyone has their foibles, and I, 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 I and I'm, I'm just saying. But actually, please, if it, if it, if it please, were illegal, uh, the, if it were the, illegal, the, people, have the, have the people, that, have the people illegal, in this Tony. audience, have the people in this audience never done anything that they're ashamed of, embarrassed about, 
uh, humiliated by... They have, but they probably all haven't harassed the <coughs> staff. It's a mm. fundamentally different issue. And the law, and the law allows for that, for the okay. fact that it might be a one-off. But mm. this man apparently has a track record mm. and he's in a position where he should know better, full stop.